Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to the Rainbow Six US Nationals. We are moving on to our second match of the night, where we are about to see Luminosity Gaming go up against the Banana Boat Crew. Another team stepping up to the plate here once again at USN to try and qualify. However, their opponent is going to be a tough one, as Luminosity have been quite, have had, well, have had quite the rise, I guess you could say, over the uh, past couple of months now. Yeah, they, they had the um, the Navi effect. You know, Navi and, and Luminosity went into the scene as just phenomenal teams. It seemed like nobody could beat them. They were just on fire. They were beating, you know, top tier teams and um that honeymoon phase ended so now after a team change we've seen luminosity pretty much struggle they made a team change they picked up factor and now they're trying to get back on top and it all starts here so the second chance in semifinals and hopefully their power holds up let's go ahead and take a look at the rosters and um yeah let's just dive deeper into them luminosity hyena factor doodle tomas and rexon so factory is going to replace pixel who replaced Another guy that I don't, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's gonna be that. Rex is an absolute animal. Um, this team, there is studded with stars. Any one of them could take over a game, and it just depends on which day it is at this point. Um, they're still trying to get back to the top once, like I said in the past, and hopefully this factor pickup is gonna help them out. Let's go ahead and take a look at Banana Boat Crew. Banana Boat Crew, of course, a team of players stepping up to this one. I think we've seen a Prophet specifically. We've had him play here in USM before, but as for the others, I don't think we've had them uh, manage to make it this far as of yet. So you've got Soldier, Sum, Nesh, and uh, Zoinkers jumping onto that team as well in order to try and get past Luminosity tonight to move on to that next challenge waiting in the finals. I want to see Zoinkers go off, just yelling Zoinkers whenever he clutches it or when that <laughs> big plays. That, that, that's key. That's what I want to do as a caster. It's like the little homie effect, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this match was going to be um, an uphill battle already for um, Banana Boat Crew. So, bring your A game. Definitely do make sure to do that. And we also want to remind you guys to make sure to keep up with us on social media for this one as well. Make sure you are following along and telling us what you think of the matches. Make sure to use the hashtag R6USN whenever tweeting or talking about it on social media. Yes, and remember, hey, you ask us questions, we'll answer them, make them as crazy and wild as you want. Not too crazy, not too wild, but just have some fun with it. You know, we do it every Monday and we answer them for, you know, for every Monday. So make it count. All right. <laughs> but um, in the matchups, I'm pretty sure we're getting our polls ready and whatnot to see what you guys think about it. But I wouldn't be surprised for a Luminosity blowout when it comes to voting. We're going to have to do our map pool first, though. Oh, yeah. Take a look at that, of course. So let's see which map we're going to end up in here for tonight's matchups and see which one. We're going to go to for this match specifically. Banana Boat Crew going up against Luminosity will be played on Clubhouse. Oh, okay. So right back where we started. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be had, something new. We had one game to move away from it. Bank, Apparently, Villa, like, coastline. Villa, Bank, Border, and Coastline. We just, like, never play them. Not nah, really. <laughs> no. And I love watching games like maps like Coastline get played, man. Start picking them more often. Please. I don't think we've played Villa once this entire season of USN. Actually, I'll take that back. We I think have, I've done it like once or twice. We've had like, I think we've had like two or three. Yeah. But that's still like but still such like a we're, low amount. We're stage three. <laughs> like, come on, man. So, um, the last yeah. time, the last time I remember doing it, it was, I think, when TSM qualified, if I remember properly. Because that's when, uh, I possibly. Think, I think that's when Merc had that crazy yes, game. Yes. In Where we both were like, okay, this guy can frag. No, yeah. no, you're right. Yeah. That, that was underneath plane. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That uh, was that's insane. the last time I remember casting Villa in this league. That was the last time I did, too. <laughs> it was both of our class game on Villa. So, um, yeah. What do Someone you pick Villa. <laughs> yeah. What, we're what are your thoughts on this matchup so far? Uh, this matchup, uh, like, it, uh, you know, you got to be honest. You can see our community poll here. It's a bit of a mismatch, right? Luminosity, currently the number three pro league team. Yep. Got a lot of hype coming up behind him. They're going to be going up against a, a group of players that we haven't actually seen really make it this far yet in USN. So, my eyes, no reason why Luminosity shouldn't win this. But it's they USN, should. right? So... We've always been surprised. You know, it's, teams have come out of the woodwork. You know, one week we don't know who they are. They upset, you know, DZ or something like that. It's That's so happened scary. multiple times already. We so. have teams like Rise Nation and the others still struggling to make it. Meanwhile, these up and covers are. How long did it take Dark Zero to really make it? Uh, Serious. Like a stage and a half. Dark Zero, they're one of the scariest They're teams still not in. That's the, They're only in conference qualifiers. I know. They now. still might not qualify for land. There's still a chance. That just shows how crazy USN is, man. It is funny. <laughs> I'll never forget, and I've said it before um, stage two. There was a clip when Dark Zero finally qualified in, you know, one of these conference games. And um, everybody just, oh, we won. <laughs> USN. <laughs> I mean, you love to see it, man. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a fun game. 
Definitely is going to be a fun game to be sure. And once again, it's on Clubhouse too, so I think that that is going to give a little bit more room for the Banana Boat crew to play around with here, considering that it's a map that it's it's basically become the new Oregon in my eyes. Yeah. Uh, in that everybody knows how to play this map. Everyone. Um, yeah. It's not really in that you know that reputation that Oregon's got, where like it's not where like where good teams go to die just yet, because there are definitely teams that still dominate on this one. It's yeah. not like the random map like Oregon kind of became towards the end of its run. Um, but it's still a map that everyone should know how to play at this point. Um, and it's a map that the strategies are very well known. It's very, so it's not, it just doesn't require that much effort to like counter strat and stuff like that yeah. as well. Because it's not a, a huge amount of room for innovation at that point. I was going to say, when it comes to strategies, it's pretty stale on this map because we yeah. all know what we're doing. At this point, it's all about who can execute the same strategy right and who can counter. This map is all about counter, especially when it comes to CCTV, Garage, and the hold downstairs in Armory in church. So like, that's really it. It's all about bandit tricking. Um, tricking with Kayat and Bandit is bigger on this map, you know, than most maps out there. So it's really important. Probably the most prevalent use of it so far, just on the hatches, considering how important those hatches are. We really don't have a lot of other basement sites that rely so much on hatch access. Yeah. So so this one's a very important one, and that's where the K tricking comes in pretty heavily. And it's honestly not seen that much on really any other map. So. You're right. And also, we, we, we get treated to new things whenever we play this map, um, like the, the double C4 kill in Kitchen. Yeah, and we, yeah. We, we, we've never really seen a team really pressure the attackers in Kitchen, and that double C4 kill um, was phenomenal. So hopefully we see more things like that. Yeah, I mean, just last night uh, on, on Pro League, Rogue had like a really cool roaming strat on this map for an ex really? example. Yeah, where they were able to actually like play kind of off-site basement, which doesn't happen that much, and it, it worked pretty well for them. They only did it once. They didn't they didn't really use it again after that. But but yeah, I mean, you know, people people are bringing new stuff out into this map every once in a while. It's just it's kind of like few and far between at this point. You're saying the roamers were. They they picked basement. And they were roaming. Yeah. Oh, they were they were roaming like, in basement. Like right? like three four people roaming upstairs. Okay, so so correctly. we've seen that with like Empire and other teams. Yeah. That we don't see that a lot in NA. Yeah. Like that hasn't adapted over. So it worked. It worked. It worked well for the two. They kind of like dominated that round. That's, that's a strong strat that not a lot of people yeah. use. Yep. Because it was uh, it was against Rec and Rec was like. <laughs> Like what do we do? Because <laughs> basically the, the thing is you can you can pick castle right. Yeah. And with castle you can block off um, a lot a lot of the bar. Right. And when you do that, that really restricts the attacker's capability to shut down a roamer. Because usually so if the roamer's on the first floor, you use bar because it's yeah. just a huge open area with like 20 different angles that come into the room. So there's no way for a roamer to like be aware of everything like that. But with castle you can block a lot of those angles off, and suddenly the roamers can play into that room a bit more. That's big. Adaptability is is everything when it comes to gaming, especially in Rainbow Six Siege. Because um, what we usually see on sites, especially down low and in um, Armory, everyone just sits there. It'll be, you literally have all anchors just sitting on the site, just waiting for the final push, and it becomes a game of picks. But when you're innovative and you, you bring out other strategies like that, you catch teams off guard. It, you, Got to keep them guessing. All right, guys. Well, here we go into our second match of the evening. LG Luminosity Gaming going up against the Banana Boat Crew. It will be on the Clubhouse. It's a best of one. The team that comes out on top of this one is going to be moving on to take on Adventure Force in the final match of the night. So let's see who gets to go on for that final match. All right. Let's see who the bands are. Good luck, my son. Last time out. <laughs> All right, Snakes. Let's see what you do. The final battle. Having some fun in the chat, at least, as they always do. But Maverick is going to be our first ban. Maverick, of course, making sense on Clubhouse due to the access he can get to the two balconies on Jacuzzi and the main balcony leading into CCTV. Um, just makes it way too easy to get that wall open, essentially. Uh, or at minimum, deal with the, say, the bandit batteries or the mute jammers or whatever maybe they're blocking it. So they want to get rid of that. Capital will be the second band again, also aligning with meta trends, just removing that execute capability and also helps the defenders to deny access to areas like that balcony wall. Yeah, so much Capital does when it comes to utility. So, and <laughs> Capital, we, we haven't seen a lot of him yet since his buff. And, you know, <laughs> rightfully so, Blue and Billy are my favorite caster. <laughs> Tell Stokes. Factor, you're, you're s such a handsome human. I love you. <laughs> Mirror's getting out of here. A uh, Maverick ban, is, that's pretty much a... <laughs> Like this for you, baby. Zoinkers, you better go Jesus. off. Make me proud, Zoinkers. Why does Zoinkers drop a fat donut? And he's like, Belly, this is for you. This, is for you. this donut's for you. So Maestro is going to be the last band, so we'll see Echo get left back in. Uh, but everything else besides that is pretty much what we've come to expect from a clubhouse match. So nothing crazy out of the ordinary here. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Yeah, I just want to hug just, all of They're just talking you right up now. right now. I know, like you I'm You say blushing. Belly has a firm handshake? Is that what they just typed? Yes. Have you ever seen, like, I'm blushing? Have you ever seen, like, a, a black guy, like, turn pink? Like, that's how hard I'm blushing right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oaks flirts with me with his All right, eyes. Luminosity, get out the chat. You have, you have a game to worry about. No one's actually going to play. They're just going to keep typing stuff in the chat. The chat's going to be the best part about this game. <laughs> we are going to be in CCTV. <laughs> We are going to be in CCTV for our first trip <laughs> into the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Moving away from the meta a little bit in that respect. <laughs> uh, but still becoming more and more of a common choice, actually, just due to how uh, how much more comfortable defenders have been getting <laughs> on this uh, this site recently. So it's going it's, to... The skill of the counters, like we said on Before the Game Started, is going to be the name of the game here. Maverick's ban, so you're going to have to be extremely efficient when it comes to going ahead and getting rid of the CCTV wall and the second hard breacher there. I mean, you only have a certain amount of extra charges, which is two, three X Kairos, three chances with Habana. You have to make it count. So there's different ways to go ahead and get rid of bandit tricking. You need to go underneath and um, try to get rid of the batteries, but that's if IQ is in play, she's not here. So... Zofia in play, and you also have EMPs in Thatcher's hands. Um, it's pretty much going to be a, a battle between both of them to help Thermite when it comes to that CCTV wall. And so, oh, he, he yoinked it up there. It's kind of. It's actually going to be. It'll probably get spotted pretty quickly. Um, we can need oh, oh, here comes a run out actually from Nesh. He's oh, gonna pick up the kill, and it looks like he gets away as well. Nicely done by Nesh. Attackers have recovered their. You know what? I have to give credit where credit's due. JP in the chat, he said, Veli. Nash is going to go off, and with Doc killing her, he's able to get the run out, the kill, and also his health back. Great start to the round. So Rex can get up on the roof here. He'll be working more than likely. Well, he would have been working with their thermite, but yeah, that's that's the thermite dead. That's the other part that we didn't even talk about yet. Oh wow! Yeah, the I thermite. Didn't notice. The thermite is the one that goes out. So good luck getting that wall open. Yeah, that's a big blow to strategy. Valcam's obviously going to get noticed and um, shot out, but now Habana who's going to be Doodle, he's going to have to figure out which way they want to make it. And can we see where Habana is right now? Just yes, curiosity. Uh, okay, well, she's on a drone. Yeah, they're going to do a construction <laughs> okay. okay, so she is like in the right spot. Well, no, she's not actually. She's in the wrong spot, I just realized. So the problem is, is Habana is usually committed to getting the construction wall open. So yeah, as you can see with everyone else in Lumina, they basically just have to double down on a construction push now. Yeah. Because they don't have time to, ro and it probably wouldn't really work to rotate Doodle over and have uh, and have him open up the, the balcony wall instead. So this is a pretty huge kill that was found early on. Nash may have like just single-handedly won the round if they successfully pinch out the push here when it comes in for construction. Yeah, Garage and CCTV, um, the, the hard walls there, is going to be in touch. So now, not only do they have to really focus on construction, but also underneath. That's where Tomas is going to have to make a play. Nash. But Nash ain't having it. Get in the 2K. Nice shot on Tomas. So Nash moving in once again. Surprising one of the members of Luminosity. Not a hard breacher this time, but it's still the buck, which is a huge grab for this late in the round as well. Those nades he could have potentially still had in storage now gone. A lot of really important utility getting knocked out here by Nash. He's doing a fantastic job in this round on Rome. All right. Now it's going to be up to factor. Two teammates currently down. It's going to be Thermite and Buck. But he's going to have to make the most of it. And Nash is holding his ground. Wow. Banana Bow Crew. They came to play, Blue. They came to play. With Drone coming in, Nash is going to hit off a little pre-fire and run back. But the challenge is going to be there. It's going to be Factor. Oh, Nash, if he turned around and had the pre-aim ready, I guess he didn't expect Factor to really rush down like that. That was pretty aggressive. Either way, things have come down to a 1v3 situation. Now a 1v0, or well, 3v0. As Snakes is going to be able to finish things off against Rexon and the Banana Boat crew. Shock Luminosity with a really strong round one defense of CCTV. Yeah, that kill destroyed anything dynamic about Luminosity's push. Um, with the run out by Nash, you take out Thermite, and hey, all of a sudden you can't breach everything you wanted to breach. Imagine if that happens whenever they play down low as well. It's going to be really hard. Like, that just shows the importance of being able to stay alive if you're a hard breacher and also being successful. So, I mean, there's two stages to get in the site and... Doodle, oh, no. <laughs> it's been one round, Snakes. Calm down. We have a we have an Owen sighting. You got to hold off on that. <laughs> Wait till, like, round six for that. I love these guys already. Banana <laughs> Oak came out the gate swinging. <laughs> It's like, yeah, we want to rap. Let's start crap talking. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many I can, I can as clap they back can. at you pretty badly if, if things start to go the other way here for LG. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see how long um, this is going to hold up for Doodle. 
It's pretty interesting to see because Doodle has been... So, ever since the whole Owen joke at USN 2018 Finals, Doodle has really emerged to be one of the best players um, on this specific roster. Mm -hmm. Not this specific roster, we you know this team. And he's slowed down recently. You know, we've seen each player take a turn at dominating when it comes to fragging and owning the stat line. You know, the first one was Doodle, then Thomas and Rexy. And then Hyena starts getting aces, and it's like, okay, you know, this team is deadly. So, it's going to be all about who shows up today, but Banana Boat Crew, they've been fun to show up so far. So, we've got Luminosity once again spawned out onto the table here. I'm imagining a bit of a different style going to be taken into the round this time. As Banana Boat Crew were able to surprise them quite heavily with a round one performance, especially their Rome game, when you take a look at what they were able to accomplish from their uh, from their Valkyrie in that last round. I wasn't able to see... Um do Banana Boat Crew have any roamers at all, or are they just sitting inside? I think they're just anchoring this one. They're anchoring? Okay. Yeah. I don't think they're going to try to play the roam game. So if that's the case, it's pretty much going to be the basics. You know, you set the claymores in the right spots to stop any type of runouts or flanks. Thomas is going to take his time clearing out top floor. Then once they work their way down, you're going to see Thomas go over to kitchen, and that's where you see the engagement happen. That's going to be when Banana Boat Crew, they try using impact nades or just, you know, outright gunfire to stop them from getting the hatch open. But with Maverick being out of play, it's going to be even harder now because you're going to have to be successful if you're Doodle or Hyena. Rex at the same time is going to be positioned downstairs already here. Already in a good spot to start pushing forward and Hyena keeping himself alive this time. So they do have the double hard breach capability to try and utilize. They will clear out and do a little bit of reconstruction in the kitchen to get ready to try and deal with that hatch. And we'll do the same thing over here towards the kitchen hatches. It was looks like it was just, or not the kitchen hatch, excuse me, the, uh, the memorial hatch. As it looks like it was just tricked for the first time there by the folks on Banana Boat Crew. Yes, yeah, so the rotation is currently going through and hey, there it is. The C4 is going to go ahead and take Rex out of the game. Once more, Banana Boat Crew, they're going to start off the game with the first kill. Absolutely big. We saw they took advantage of numbers last time, and they threw a wrench in Luminosity's traps. But thankfully for Luminosity, I'm not going to say it was just Sophia, but, you know, it wasn't a hard breacher this time around. I'm starting to get a little bit low here for LG. Thankfully, they've got a good amount of progress made. Not too worried about their capability to get into the site just yet, but they do definitely want to try and one of these hatches open sooner or later if they haven't already done so. Looks like they did get the kitchen hatch open, so they've got access to Arsenal. That is for sure going to be their primary push here. As you can tell, Banana Crew has caught on to this. They're going to toss their gas grenade into the tunnel to block off the push from Hyena. So the Toxic Babe currently holding down a construction tunnel. But now that it's gone, Hyena is still pressed to make this play. Even though Gunfire is starting to fizzle towards his way, let's see if he can go ahead and open things up. Blue Presence is going to be there with Factor. His aggressive play is going to help out, but he sees a punch hole. It's going to be all about if he can stay alive. There's going to be a player. Oh, he's going to get sandwiched. There's so many people around him, but he's going to be able to get the knife. Oh, okay. That's oh, going to be a 2K. No. Make it a 3K. And finally, Nash shuts him down. Such a great opening by Factor. Well, you can't leave a hole in your defense, folks, as that can happen. Factor rolls right through and changes the pace of this round. His team also able to get a plant down in the process of that play being made, so we are locked into a 2v2. But Anabo Crew trying to pull off this retake, and we do have a player really far off sight right wow. now, trying to run around into the tunnel. Their buck is trying to reposition. Doodle seems to have held on his own, but only for a one-for-one -one exchange. But ultimately, though, Thomas will be able to finish off Nesh and close out on the round for LG. That was just dumb luck and bad timing. That was dumb luck and bad timing combined into one. The fact that that player was rotating in that tiny window underneath Hatch, unfortunate. It was 1v1, but fortunately the player above Kitchen Window was able to close out the round. So now we're gonna have a tied game. Um, it was interesting because, it was, no, it was actually scary. Doodle was on side alone in the 1v2. Thank God Doodle was able to get that kill. Yeah, the refract did happen and leave it in the 1v1 for Luminosity. But if Doodle didn't get that kill, that was going to be all Banana Boat Crews. That would have allowed them to go forward with a 2-0 lead on defense already, but Luminosity being able to trade it is definitely what they want here. <laughs> Ultimately, you have to remember, we still are on Clubhouse, so defenders will have a pretty heavy advantage in this matchup, or at least in this half. Attackers so Banana Boat Crew is going to be looking to try and tie it up at at least 3-3, but ideally they would want a 4-2. So, nothing in this world can explain how the hell Factor did that. <laughs> Factor went through blue. There was a player in blue, and then there were punch holes and another player that wasn't paying attention. So basically Factor ran past two Helen Kellers, and he was like, hey, 
there's a guy in front of me. Let me knife him and then get the 3K on the two guys that should have killed me. So big, big mistake by Banana Boat Crew when it came to blue defense. There, there's no way at all Factor should have ran down like that. It was free. It was free. He didn't even fight for it. He just ran down. And it's pretty funny because there was a player, I believe, directly to his left that should have been able to get the kill. He didn't check his corners at all. He just ran right in armory for that play. Oh. So Banana Boat Crew now going to look to try and trade this round back. They do attempt another basement defense here. Illuminosity, however, looking to try and probably execute on the same strat once again. Banana Boat Crew, they look like they're going to get a bit more aggressive. We do have someone trying to peek towards Oil Pit, but probably not going to find much from that. Is yeah, Soldier just barely misses an opportunity to try and spray through. No ladder for you, buddy. Not going to work out. And of course, the Claymore will deny any opportunity he has to crawl up now. Yeah, Roman Jaeger is going to have to go right back down. Uh, pretty much a default Jaeger spot. Little ADS in front of him to stop any type of grenades. And his job is just to hold it down to make sure players like Factor aren't going to go ahead and run in. And it's a nice spot on the Valk Camp to go ahead and um, stop him to get that kill. Nice spot for predictable, it seems, as Rexon just yeah. kind of instinctively shoots into it. Seems to have been well aware, and it was put there in previous rounds too. So they've got a read into the uh, Valkyrie cams right now. Banana Boat Crew are trying to use. The rest of the team already getting into position here towards Kitchen, just checking out to make sure there are no cams in the spot here to try and allow for them to fire back to the floorboards and potentially take Thomas out. So we'll just put down some breaching charges, get the floor opened up, and the team within the next, I'd say, 20 or 30 seconds will be able to work towards opening the actual hatch. Once again, it's important to point out that um, with Maestro being banned, there hasn't been echo play at all coming in from Banana Boat Crew. Mm -hmm. But Thomas is going to take a lot of damage. I'm not sure what it was from. Um, probably a little wall bang or whatnot as he rotates over in the kitchen, but um, he's going to have to be really careful now. Rex in the meanwhile still trying to push himself into blue. He's got the angle held to wait for the Valkyrie to peek around the corner of the big, uh, big electrical unit there. But he's not going to get that peak anytime soon, as it appears the Valkyrie is far more preoccupied with watching for the oil pit push instead. Now, you know, also going to try to get open this uh, second hatch now. They already opened the outside tunnel, but they're not going to be using the outside tunnel this time. They will just open up the bar hatch and I think try to go for the main stairs and uh, memorial push that we see teams try to do every once in a while. Yeah, it's not going to be any Kai's in play, just bandits. So when it comes to getting rid of the hatches, I mean, it's going to be quite easy. It's not going to be any counter at all. So Luminasi, they've done, they've done a great well so far getting that job done. But Haina on main stairs. He's in a position to make a good play. I don't think that on Banana Boat crew are really watching that at all. And Factor does it again! No. This doesn't make sense! Back, get another one. <laughs> another one. Able to get another 3K in the same spot. Hyena cleans up another one, and now it's a 4v1. The BB crew is starting to fall down, and their defense is going soft, Blue. Factor even adds a fourth to the counter at the end of the round as well to make it seven kills in two rounds from Factor. He is absolutely on fire right now, and it seems as though the Banana Boat crew are giving him the matches. How? Like, pick up traps or something. Stop <laughs> factor. Yeah, that, that is part of it. There is just like nothing slowing him down, it seems. Nothing. But even then, even if you did have like a lesion, for instance, here, um, and we're throwing those down, it's, it doesn't seem like it would honestly make that much of a difference besides giving you an audio cue that he's going to push. At least they would know. I mean, it's like, you know, the three blind mice trying to protect Blue and Church right now, and they, they, they keep peeking him. Stop! This can also help with it, too, bringing the Echo into play for hey, Soldier. They need Echo. So the Yokais, they're obviously going to be those extra cameras, because right now with the IQ, like, it seems Banana Boat Crew just aren't getting any intel. No. All of their default cams are obviously going away the second that they walk into the room. Um, and the Valve cams are seemingly pretty predictable, as Luminosity is dealing with them very easily every round right now. <laughs> Look at the kill spread! Factor got all those kills in blue. <laughs> he, has, he has more, he has double the combined total of the rest of his teammates. Just keep sending Factor to blue, that's the meta. It's safe to say that Factor has been a great pickup so far for Luminosity. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to push blue this round. Well, he can, it just won't really do anything. As uh, the site is now moved, we are back to CCTV and Cash. As Banana Boat Crew have played two rounds since they won on this one. So they now have it unlocked for play once again. So the one round they won, they're here to try to go ahead and um, get that type of success again. It's going to be all if. Hyena can stay alive with the exothermic charges. Oh, Nash is getting ready for the run out again. But are they going to be expecting it? They spread out the rounds a little bit, and you see the passive gameplay coming out of spawn. 
They're waiting, but I don't think that they are aware of the Valk cam that Banana Boat Crew has. Which uh, which Valk cam? Well, I mean, I saw Valkyrie at the door. I'm pretty sure she was on her phone oh, okay. and that stuff, but I guess not. I was just guessing. Either way, I think I want guessed a bit. I think I went out here on the balcony again. Like that same one that's up in the corner. That's gonna get spotted by the IQ. Because Thomas should be nearby. So uh, yeah. not all three cams are positioned uh, inside, as far as I can tell. So. All right, this is it. We're working our way in the side and trying to open up this CCTV wall. Looks like they're not getting countered at all. Is Thomas is watching the exit and yeah, this is gonna be a Val cam he's watching for. Thomas keeping eyes on all the utility that's on the inside and prioritizing what his team needs to get rid of here as they start to move in. You can see we've got that garage door open, but normally you're not... Ooh, was that a yokai he just picked? I don't think so, but... Have they gotten an entry kill all four rounds so far? It seems that way. LG? Um, no, Banana Boat Crew. No, because it's it's been it's usually been Luminosity for the basement rounds, isn't it? Uh, Banana Boat Crew were able to get on the first kill the first two rounds. I they didn't so. pay attention to the last time. But they got it again, so it, it might be three out of four if I'm guessing correctly. Yeah. Either way, though, again, getting the pick. Oh, there's the yokai again. I guess they get they did get that first one. Because he shot one of them, I'm pretty sure. That or it's the same one, and he missed the first attempt. It's hard to tell without points. Now, I guess there's two then, because I don't yeah. think it would have been able to get itself up on the catwalk this quickly. It's really impressive, like, how long it's taking Luminosity to go ahead and really put damage into Banana Boat Crew's defense. And we see a few of the players going downstairs in the lounge and also on the balcony on the west side. But they're still unable to get these kills. And I believe they're working their way into construction. We heard Abana's um, Xkeros actually go out, so that has to be it. But Rex is in dangerous territory. He's picking up the diffuser, and um, he's gonna drop it. Yeah, yeah. Just leave it up there. I was thinking of a story for what his um, next train of thought might have been, and I didn't expect that at all. All right, so we do have the EMP grenades ready to go out as the rest of the team seemingly is uh, getting pretty ready to push in here. However, they spotted Rexon just a moment ago, and Snakes is going to be able to pick up a double. Factor does the same, and now has a three. He's doing it again, and now is full access to the site. Diffuser did go down. It's out on the balcony right now, and I don't know if they have an easy way to get rid of that, but that won't matter if Factor just runs over everyone in the server. He got four. Oh. Doodle makes it five, and that is now 11 kills in three rounds for Factor. Daddy needs his juice. Keep on feeding it to him. Factor is unstoppable right now. Sim the boo, sim the cash stairs. It doesn't even matter. The man finds a way. It will be nothing without Factor. <laughs> and Doodle is right for the first time in his life. Factor. What, what are the kills right now, Marcy? Is he at what? Should be 13? at 15, I think. Stop. Oh. 12. 12, okay. 12 kills. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I was doing math wrong. Yeah. This is rough. Factor is <laughs> Big Daddy right now. I don't know what his like Siege GG rating is right now. <laughs> like he runs in the side and just yoinks the opportunity away from Banana Boat Crew. Like it, it actually doesn't make sense. He isn't a factor. He is the X factor. <laughs> factor, meet me in New Blue. I need that freebie. <laughs> <laughs> is this a is this a ranked game? <laughs> Shout out to DZ for demoralizing. We've been a chat an hour before. <laughs> Factor is carrying his team. He's, he's, he, he can break Rampy's kill record. He can. What? It's like 26, isn't it? It's, no, it's like 22, 23. It's, yeah, I'd have to look it up. Hold on. Like, yeah, look it up. I'm gonna look, look it up. Real quick. So, solo cast from Belly. <laughs> We're looking at the site setup. Yeah, going up top again. So, Banana Boat Crew, they're pretty much split. They have such a great opening against Luminosity. Once again, getting the, the first blood. And then all of a sudden, it, it all falls down once some um, factor steps in the building. You know, when, da when Daddy comes home, that's it. It's 22 kills. 22, okay. 22 and 12 rounds is what it was. So he is well on pace to beat that right now. <laughs> but that's assuming he keeps up with this uh, this amount of kills. So, which, is, I, I mean, <laughs> factor. I don't want to say it's unlikely, right? Because he did it three rounds in a row now. He's gotten 12 kills in four rounds. It's, this can actually happen. Especially if Banana Boat Crew decides to come back and Factor just keeps running in blue and knifing people in the back. <laughs> it's, it's bound to happen. He's literally at an average of three kills per round right now. That is absolutely insane. So we'll see if he can keep that kind of performance up. Either way, though, we are in the midst of this one. Luminosity once again looking for the attack as Banana Boat Crew did feel successful enough on that last round to re-attempt the defensive here. All right. Let's see what's going to happen. So Thomas being down low in stock right now. Ooh. All right, one more charge left. 
That was in the last second. Okay, so Thomas can actually help him out. If Thomas is able to get underneath the batteries by clearing it out and, and shooting from underneath, utilizing, um, you know, the detector for electronics, the electron detector, he can shoot the bandit batteries. But if they're picking up the batteries and only dropping it to counter the exothermic charge is not going to make a difference at all. But Zofia should just be able to stun it, to be honest. Zofia should be able to stun it. There, there, now, there is, a, there is a reinforcement in a way. I don't know if that'll block the stun or not. Um, which, oh, it's gone now. So that, that issue is now dealt with. Okay. And also, you can shoot it up from down below, too. Yeah. As uh, Marcy was just showing us. But they're going to try and attempt it. It does not look like Bandit is in position to stop this. There's the stun. He's going to be way too late on trying to trick it there. So second attempt is successful, oh, but wrong. Sum is not going to take that lightly. You open his wall, he'll kill you. And he takes out Hyena. He's giving him some work right now, dropping Hyena. A little bit of Enzo, um humor right there. And uh, <laughs> they had a bout cam. Bodies it. Great shot by Factor. Let's, let's it see him fire as well. so far. Let's just watch Factor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Factor's killed one camera so far this round. <laughs> 100% um, shoot, you know, aim rate. All right, yeah, Factor's flirting with danger right now. He, he's definitely looking for someone to go ahead and peek through this window in the garage. And he knows that there's going to be two people in Raptor, so this is going to be a big help. Thomas is able to pick up the kill on Soldier. And knowing that there's one more right there, Doodle, oh, the aim is perfect. Doodle getting a 2K, taking some out. It's far too much fragging power, it seems, right now on LGs. They just walk in the garage, pick up the two two defenders on the inside of the garage, actually. Factor, don't do it again. He's already got one this round. Oh, Factor. Let's see, number two right there. <laughs> Keep pushing Factor, we're going to break the record. So what is that, 13 kills? It's, I mean, it, it's, yeah. <laughs> Factor is a bully right now. He's at, so it should be 14 and 2 now, I think. And that's an... Yeah, 14 and 2 in five rounds. <laughs> Factor is just acting. If he like doesn't break the record, I will be disappointed. Factor is out of control. Technically, that record only applies to pro league games, but still. <laughs> we yes, can, so we, can, we can, can We'll make up our own record. We have to. <laughs> Factor on Thatcher. All right. So, this is it. The last round before um, the sides go ahead and swap. Banana Boat Crew. Um, hey, strats are going soft, and, uh, you know, <laughs> they've been a bit lackluster so far. All in thanks to Factor. If Factor has been going off, it's going to be hard to tell how this game could have been going because you know, they were doing extremely well earlier on. It just happens that Factor just finds an opening and just and he runs free. Oh, Willy Nelly and just bodies everybody. Yeah, first round for Banana Boat Crew looked awesome, right? Like they really shut down Luminosity and specifically we had Nash do an amazing job on Rome. He basically single-handedly won his team the first round with the kills that he was able to get. Destroyed the Thermite on the run out as well as caused problems later on in the round by picking up a second kill too. But after that, yeah, it's just, it's, you know, we've had some close engagements, but Factor yeah. literally running into the site three times in a row has seemed to shut them down. They have not been able to figure out how to stop that yet. Gym and bedroom, this is it. Um, so, once again, counter is gonna be a factor. We see Snakes is banded right now. Um, Mirror's banned, so that bathroom hold isn't gonna help them out at all that they have to go ahead and reach that hard wall. So Snakes has a lot of responsibility in his hands. Um, I'm sure if I see a shield helping him out. But a new jammer is going to be placed by the Zoinkers, and after that, it's going to be all of the snakes. The new jammer is going to waste at least one EMP, which is going to leave two more left. So it's going to be all about just skill. Just dropping that battery on that thing and just getting rid of the exothermic charge. Um, Habana can come into play. Um, that's if they do need her for that. But I, I doubt that they will. Important to note that we still have snakes in position with the batteries, though, so he can trick this. But with a Zofia in play, uh, we'll see if they're able to play this appropriately in order to get rid of those extra reinforcements. Rexon actually goes hunting for some feet there and uh, nearly is able to clip a little bit of damage onto the banana boat crew, but doesn't actually end up finding anything, at least for now. Yeah, that's actually a really good spot. I saw it in a, um, a coconut bro video the other day. Um, from that angle, you're able to kill people that are prone um, around gym and also master bedroom. It's, it's a specific angle, so he was unable to be successful with that, but Zofia's coming in to play with the lifeline, and yeah, that wall stands no chance at all. Three-man formation on the wall is the kind of like double confirmation to get the wall open. And they execute that flawlessly. So Luminosity have the first wall open. Problem with this site, though, is it's not just one. You normally need to get two walls open as you also have the bathroom to deal with if it is properly reinforced by the banana boat crew. Either that, you have to ignore it and try to kind of swing your way into gym. We're going to see, though, Doodle. Wow. And this time, not the right site just yet, but he is able to clear out the cash defender. As that's going to be Nash going down. Snakes and Soldier also go out directly after that. Factor finally dies at the hands of some. 
And now it's still going to be brought down to a 3v1 as Zoikers is left alone to clutch this. He does drop the Habana. Still has to look for the next two, though. In the meantime, the, the Diffuser is going down onto the ground. He will eventually be found in the showers, though, and Luminosity still close out on the half. Five to one for the attacking side. All it took was to take down one more player. You saw him in the bathroom trying to clutch down to 1v3. He was able to get one down, and with the shotgun out, he just didn't have the range. At first he did, but he was hesitant to take the shot. With the SMG, you know, pocketed at the moment, that was the right gun for the situation, and he got gunned down while holding the shotgun. If he was able to get another down or a kill, it would have been a 1v1 with the objective player. But now the swaps are going to change. Illuminati looking to win this 7-1 if they can continue on with their streak. And Factor, how many kills does he have so far, Marcy? I didn't get any in that last round, I don't think. So he should still be at 14, okay. I think. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't see him on the kill feed anyway, because he actually died the last round. Yeah, so he's still 14. Yep. So he's not going to break the record. They should just throw <laughs> That's it? That's the end? <laughs> they should just throw rounds and just let him pad his stats. How much you want about he's going to like spawn peek and stuff and try and get kills? <laughs> Put him on dock. What op is he on? Let's see. Oh, he's on bandit. He's, oh, no, so he can't. Oh. No, he can't. Oh. I mean, he can still take contact duels when they get the wall, if they get the wall open. So He's going to purposely let the wall get breached. <laughs> and it just runs. Oh, I let go of middle mouse. Sorry. <laughs> My mouse is lagging, guys. Someone hit the switch. Fractures on the heater. <laughs> Ban Zoinkers from chat. <laughs> Lock his comms. <laughs> <laughs> but Edmo Crew is still having fun at the end of the day, I suppose, and take lightness in that. <laughs> They're just like having conversations with each other, like in the middle of like a, like a pro game. <laughs> it's such a weird match. Like. <laughs> They're way too friendly with each other. <laughs> Down 1 5 in US in the semifinals. You're just smiling, typing in chat. Thanks for the tip. Stop these guys, please. <laughs> they are in Vegas, to be fair. So the AC is probably set to like 66 or something like that. True. Because it gets very warm there. Or maybe it's just meta telling them to turn on the AC so the power goes out again. Be a shortage. <laughs> hey, might be it. If you turn the heat on at this, this time of the year in Vegas, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, like, yeah. in the 90s, I think, at this time of year. <laughs> when does it get cold in Vegas? Um, Right around, I think, like, in the next few weeks, it should start getting colder, I think, actually. See you on the other All right. side. So, Abana's currently doing work, and, um, yeah, it's pretty much going to be successful, and nobody's going to get peaked early on, so all players left alive right now. Let's see if this, um, I told you, he's going to run away from the wall. He's going to run away from the wall to slay out. <laughs> He's gonna let the wall get breached. He's trying to get kills now. He's not even there. He's downstairs. They just rushed into sight. What? This is such a weird formation. Oh. We're gonna see them start to rotate, oh. but at the moment, Banana Boat Crew were kind of just allowed to walk into CCTV. Hyena's trying to spray back on this one. He's brought it down to a 1v3 from 1v4, but still, this is a tough ask now. Trying to rotate in. He does have an angle to play with, but isn't able to rotate onto it in time. So the Banana Boat Crew rushed their way through the wall and into the site in order to take round number seven. That was a meme round. Bit of a meme round, yeah. That was a meme round. That was Factor trying to hunt down kills this bandit. Factor assumed they'd play the round normally and that he could like roam and get kills that way. No. He, he, like, so if it was serious, but Edible Crew or breaching <laughs> through that wall, all of them huddled in behind the exit their big charge and just charged in, just pre firing. And it worked? Yeah. That's the winning strat. Do it again. So let's try that again, Luminosity. Factor on bandit. Maybe they'll actually play the bandit in the site again <laughs> this time. <laughs> I'm going to pick Bandit, but I'm going to play offsite. They they didn't expect it. Maybe they're trying to let more rounds get played so that Factory has a better chance to hit the record. Maybe. That's the that's the genius strat right there. They what just if, weren't expecting they, to rush. What if they do that and the game gets tied up and Banana Boat Crew wins? <laughs> they're throwing rounds to get him the kill record. It's like, doesn't matter. I got the kill record. <laughs> but we lost. <laughs> All right. So, still sitting at 14 kills and able to get kills in the last round or two. And, um, yeah. Looks like the, the the streak has ended, man. R.I.P. to the dream. Been two, yeah. or th been two or three dry rounds down from him, so. <laughs> so Luminosity, all they need left is um just two more rounds to win. And they'll play against Zako and the Boys Adventure Force in the finals. A Banana Boat crew, they're going to have to really, really pull something out of their, like out of their pocket, some super strat. And, um try to win it out. They, they have the gunplay to go ahead and, and go toe-to-toe against -to -toe them. Nasty, but they feel flat on their face thanks to Factor. You can see both of the Yokai drones, one being set up on the inside of CCTV, the other going for information on the inside of Garage. 
We do have quite a few players as... Ooh, was that left soft? Yes, it was. So that is oh, going wow. to allow them in pretty quickly. Sometimes it's left soft, though. It's not a huge deal. But Stay on this angle. I want to see all of this, Marcy. They're definitely going to rush through construction. Here we go. <laughs> they have a hard time getting through it. <laughs> it's going to be a little obvious, I think. No, no. Oh, oh, oh no. It's good. See, this is the problem with Russian construction, right? He's got that tiny little door to push in from. They are able to trade it evenly, though, bringing it in with 3v3. Factor picks up another kill, though, as he retreats to the inside of Cash. Now looks for another one. Two more added to his counter as he takes out Snakes. And whoa, actually won't. No, wait. Did he get it? It looks like he did. Yes, yeah, he did he take he out traded. some at the end of the day. So another 3k from Factor. <laughs> This is peak Rainbow Six Siege. You're not going to get a better match than this. Ever. Ever. Invitational finals? Get uh, out <laughs> So boring. Luminosity versus Banana Boat Crew. <laughs> that's, that's what I stayed up late for. <laughs> so we are going to go back to the basement as Luminosity have that to play into now. And this is also, of course, their match point rounds. They've got the opportunity to shut this to all, oh, man. Factor, Factor wants kills. Okay, maybe not. He, was, uh, he, had a, he had a vigil pick there for like three seconds. And I was like, yep, he's going to roam. BBC, I mean, big banana boat crew running out of stamina and they're unable to take it. <laughs> hyena, please let me kill please. something. <laughs> Poor Hyena. Can we take a look at the stats? So let's get a game real quick here. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. So he's at 17 now. Okay. So he needs 17. So if he aces this round, he ties the kill record. Let him get an ace. Let him get an ace. But if not, if not, they still win, then yeah, he's not going to break the record. He will, however, still, I think, have, like, the highest KPR in pro match history, I think, at this point, if they end it right here. Can he get the ace, and then there's a trade that happens, and they lose? And go to another round, and then he could break the record? I don't think that's possible. Trades can happen. Very rare. Actually, no, it is possible, yeah. It would just it take, like, a really crazy round. I mean, they need to, like, coordinate with Banana Boat Crew at this point. Just like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just type it into chat. If I'm hey, factor, I'm like, yo, hey. everyone, go blue. You guys They're give factor just like five more kills. We'll let you get like three more rounds here. But <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the strat to play into. All right, this is it. Doodle with the spawn hey, peak. Okay? He's gonna hit absolutely nothing. Nobody over there. Drone active. They're actually droning. They're taking the series. Okay. I kind of have to now. This is it. It's also a basement attack, and I would be very surprised if someone tried to like rush tunnel or something like that. Why not? I, I you wouldn't expect it. Factor. You wouldn't expect it, right? But like, if you if if the first person who contacts goes one for one, that you're dead. Like that's that's not working in my eyes. <laughs> everyone's gonna rotate to that so quick. And as we're waiting for Luminosity to go ahead and try to win this very last round to shut it down, I just wanted the chat to laugh at Stokes for not having a sword in the chat. So everyone just laugh at him. Stokes, we love you. We miss you. Come back to Poland. We'll see you in a few days. Yes. A few days. I think oh, so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes back soon. It's like it's like a it's like a week from now, I think he comes back. You get my blue eyed brother back. <laughs> Alright. But here it is, yeah. They're, they're actually playing is absolutely right. A little bit of drone play. And yeah, we see Jaeger in a typical spot though. Some of the meanwhile being very careful about how he proceeds here on the buck. Make sure he checks all these angles, all these corners. Be very careful about it. Zoikers, though, is able to catch Rexen on his own there. So first roamer from Luminos. Going down onto the ground. Also, Factor. Okay. Knocked out by Soldier. All right, the F2 meta is in effect. Factor is going to get bodied. Factor gets handled. The drones get absolutely bodied as well. And Doodle is going to hold down blue. There's going to be two players. Two players in front of him. It's going to be up to him to really take matters into his own hands. But Thomas is flying with Danger and Tunnel at the moment. And with a Toxic Babe coming out, yeah, that player's gonna retreat. He almost, oh, he was almost able to box him in there, too. Almost. Punch him out with a shotgun, but looks like Snake's back up just in time in order to avoid that fate. And in the meantime here, got a lot more pressure working its way over towards Blue there. That's definitely gonna be the focus for the Banana Boat crew. It, in my opinion, is a little bit dangerous, even though with a 5v3, though, just because it seems like it's kind of their singular focus on execute. Yeah. And Luminous, your play is very smart, so LG could still shut this down. So they're gonna find the first kill there on some. Look at Doodle trying to have a gamer moment right now. Okay, here we go. Here's his way to get another kill, but Nesh ain't having it. 4v2, 
Hey, Banana Bow Crew, they're fighting back now. This is so possible. They can do this. Banana Bow figured out what they were doing wrong there. They add the memorial angle to this push. They can pinch out the players inside a church and actually get access to this site. They're going to bust open the wall into the site, though, and this is going to be their actual point of access where they'll put the plant down in that back corner behind Bar. Don't even know if Luminosity are aware that this is happening, to be honest. They're still kind of in default positions right now, waiting for this push to come in. Ooh. Going to see the Echo get knocked out. Tom is still alive and well, though. He'll attempt the 1v4 situation. Quickly brings it into three, but all oh, timing looks away at just the wrong time and is knocked out by Snake. So the Banana Boat crew are not done fighting just yet. Banana Boat crew trying to make it happen. Fighting back, taking a round away from Luminosity. Great push on attack. Luminosity looking really cold. We saw a lot of early frags coming in from um, Banana Boat crew that really shut them down. And Luminosity, they didn't have that explosive factor that... um. We were expecting, especially from Factor. Um, pretty lackluster gameplay in regards to that round, but still they get another chance. But Banana Boat Crew, if they want to take it to overtime, hey, win three more rounds. That's it. Easier said than done, of course. We're going right back down to Church and Arsenal. Let's see. Is that going to be a six-pick Cav? Usually is. Or is LG really just trying to have fun now? Uh, he's going to six-pick it. I'll call it. Rex in the sky. Nope. Yeah, yep, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, nah, he's not he's not confirming that. <laughs> Just baiting us into it. This, uh, oh, it'll be so funny if this comeback happens. If we go to overtime, I'm gonna mark that as a win for Banana Bow Crew. Factor is still five kills away from the uh, record right now. So if Factor doesn't take over the game, Luminosity don't win. Chat, you heard it here first. That's the meta. They're, they're only going to win the round if Factor races. That's only if Factor gets three kills or more. From Bandit once again, yeah, he's pretty much going to stay in church. This is going to be his priority right here. A few batteries to go down to stop a bonus charges from being stairs, open things up behind bar. And um, yeah, that's going to be his main priority. Reinforcement just going in with a few of those hatches there at the last second as the one I'll fall back. And if everything stays the same for the previous round, I think they'll probably just pull back the aggression a little bit. They had a couple guys that were extended out towards the main stairs, and I think there was one of the Roamer that got caught kind of early in the round. So more than likely going to try to pull a little bit of that back. I say that actually, but no, it's looking like they, they're going to keep it going, at least in the case of Doodle, as uh, he's going to be back upstairs here playing around with the bar. Just a bit, though. <laughs> that was a sad face for. What's Factor doing right now, Marcy? Here we got. Oh, he's just All by the right. wall. Doesn't look like he's got much of a duel to work with right now or anything, so. It's gonna remain nice and quiet here for the folks on Luminosity, at least for the time being. Factor doesn't just appear as though he's supporting Doodle, kind of the, the trade man, if you will, if yeah. uh, Doodle fails in his in his push. So Doodle is Mozzie. I mean, yeah, he's gonna be able to go ahead and zap drones <laughs> off the ground and Clear. use them as his own. That's a big if, if he's able to do that, but still he's going to be able to deny a lot of intel gathering coming in from Banana Boat Crew. All right, well, just getting Blue Hatch open. This is going to be a memorial. And again, these are uncontested right now, so Luminosity just letting the hatches get open. They don't have a cage to trick them. So not much they can do to resist this. And in the meantime here, time is ticking down. But the Banana Boat Crew still have plenty of time to play into. Still a little over half the round remaining here. Rexit is going to strike first, however, catching some this time. Doodle ready to chuck a C4 up into the kitchen. Will not strike true, though, and he gets droned out of his current position. Yeah, you see Doodle with a little pre-fire and also a C4 going out. But that was just, you know, just safety. Just making sure if anybody was pushing, he was able to go ahead and get the kill or two. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to connect with both actions, and he's doing a pretty good job at keeping snakes just, you know, Keeping his pace slow at the moment. Nesh, pretty much humbled, looking towards blue right now. He, he's he been humbled since the first few rounds. Um, His runouts has helped out his team a lot, and he's been pretty quiet ever since. Nesh still waiting for this duel to be presenting itself here. He's nearly got it with a player just on the inside of Tunnel. As I think he may have actually seen him peek once or twice, but Doodle's going to be able to strike now against Zoinkers, taking him out. Bringing us down into a 5 versus 3 situation. The swing from Rexon to try and pick up another kill will not work. Wow. Thomas gets it instead. And as well as Snake's going yeah, down, that's going to leave only one player left. It's Soldier against the world, and he can't get it done. So Luminosity, shut it out. And will take control of this matchup as they reach their 7th round, sending them onward to play up against Adventure Force in our final match of the day. GG's all around. These guys are great friends. And Banana Boat Crew tried to fight back. Hey, 
They couldn't. They lost. Luminosity won. They move on. And obviously, Factor's MVP. And they left the lobby. Supposed to get the stack. And they 3v5 that? That's crazy. Just wow. <laughs> well, when you have Factor, that's all that matters, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they basically... <laughs> it was basically it's a kind of a, It was kind of a 1v5 in some <laughs> respects. <laughs> get carried, Hyena. <high> <laughs> At least that attacking half was. Uh, but yeah, great game from Factor. He will not break the record, though, as I think he ends right around 17 or 18 kills. But either way, a phenomenal performance from him and the rest of Luminosity. And then it's going to send them soaring on to our final match of the day, where they sit one more game away now from making it into the Western Conference closed qualifiers. Finally, power didn't go out. Factor went out of control. Illuminati, they're your victors, and now they're going to have to go against Adventure Force in the final. So, pretty much takeaways from that game. Um, at first, Band of Boat Crew, they looked really strong with the with the spawn peaks and Nesh running out and taking out Hard Reachers fast and early. Like that right there, the first round. First kill of the map right there. Um, he was unable to emulate that type of play again, and Band of Boat Crew, they really fell flat on their face. It was a bit of a ridiculous game uh, at the end of the day, <laughs> to be honest kind here. Of, yeah. The amount of stuff that Factor is allowed to get away with made three separate rounds. This one, you'll see the play coming up right after this Why? as well, the round after it. And then there's one more play that should be, uh, it's probably the clip right after this more than likely. And it's not like he's crouch walking in there. My man is literally sprinting with Tim's on. Yep. He's stomping around and no one hears him and tries to stop him. The last minute of this replay, by the way, has just been Factor. <laughs> As he single-handedly won Literally three separate happened. rounds for Luminosity. Really crazy stuff from him. Uh, this on top of like some of the kind of the, the interesting strats that we saw from Banana Boat Crew when they got onto their attacking side, trying to rush successfully, in some yeah. circumstances, CCTV twice in a row. Oh, that uh, was a boss push. Made for, uh, made for certainly an exciting game, that's for sure. Just a little bit hard to break down, unfortunately, just because of how crazy it was. I love how the highlights are basically, um, at first, the factor of montage. Yeah. We should have put like a, a dope rap song and just, just let here's, it go. Here's that rush. They try to force themselves into that little tiny doorway into the site. They almost won it. And they traded it first, yeah, but again, Factor just took <laughs> control here. Another 3K for him. I think that was the third 3K he got in the game. We had a 4K like two rounds before this as well. Man, just ridiculous stuff from him. Talking about him a lot, I know it's starting to sound a little bit biased, but you know, I, what, it you, is what, what it have, is. When have you seen a performance like that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is at this point. So, congrats to Luminosity once again. So, um, in the finals, I'm gonna say that they're they're obviously you know the clear favorites, but um, still, Adventure Force isn't a team that you can really you know look down on because they're there. But let's go ahead and interview the winning team. It's, it's only right if it's Factor. It's probably gonna be Thomas. Oh, Thomas, what's up, hey, baby? Hey, how's it going? Yo, how's it big going? How's daddy. It going? It's going all right. So, uh, everything's going good. Thomas, you guys lost in the suckiest way last week. Your power went out. You were unable to go through. <laughs> like you were expecting to be in, in the finals already last week. So this time around, I guess your boys up banana boat crew. You guys finally made it. What are, What are your realistic expectations in USA? Seriously, even even when you guys make it to the finals. Yeah, I said win. Uh, well, we're, we're expecting to basically win this, you know, since, uh, you know, some teams can't really, uh, you know, uh, partake in this tournament. So uh, it should be an easy ride for us. But uh, I mean, easy ride to the, to the finals until, you know, yeah. we face the, uh, f uh, you know, fellow pro teams. And um, yeah, I mean, that's basically what our expectations. I mean, last week, I mean, we were all sitting in our room and, you know, I was having PC issues and then I get a resolve <laughs> with viruses PC. And then five seconds later, we're like, what the hell just you know what, excuse me, what, what just happened <laughs> <laughs> so it just happened a power outage uh, i think our gardener pulled up with the leaf blower 3000 and, and messed up our messed up our whole power <laughs> is factor right by you right now uh i mean i can get him if you want no, no, you can tell factor <laughs> I, I said he's a beast i love him yo by the way why factor why did you guys pick a factor out of everybody else out there during roster mania uh, well, I mean, as I said in, a bef in an interview before, Factor, uh, I mean, we had a player in mind, and uh, Factor was the OG, OG choice since Allied Minor. Yeah. And uh, when we had an opening, we just took it. And um, we, we've seen nothing but progress to him. He's an amazing player. He, he understands well. He, you know, he also takes part of, uh, you know, mid-round calling because, you know, he has an open eye. He, you know, he's he's very much out there. So, you know. Yeah, we and, saw him uh, in blue. Yeah. We saw him <laughs> right. Yeah, he's, he has a, he has a fragging potential. So, Thomas, you go against Zako and the boys in the finals, um, Adventure Force. Yo, what do you got to say to them? What do you got to say? I mean, um, you know, uh, good luck to them. You know, it's going to be a match. You, you never want to underestimate your opponents. 
even if they're CL or or T3. I mean, we lost to Drag Esports last week. You know, <laughs> we <laughs> underestimated them. <laughs> no, but you know, all jokes aside, you know, never underestimate your uh, your enemies, and you know, you take it step by step, round by round. All right, listen, Thomas. Good luck in the finals, and I hope to see you again. All right, man. I appreciate it. Take care. Oh, anytime, baby. Thank you. I love Thomas. Like, every interview he has is so humble. I even yeah. gave him a chance to go ahead and pop off against Adventure Force. And he took, like, you know, we don't disrespect him, you know. We got to be humble. Like, we don't mm -hmm. look down upon him. Like, such a nice guy. Just yeah. want to hug him. It's a great attitude to have. All right. Now, once again, it's time to talk about our MVPs. This one's going to be pretty obvious. Uh, both of us picked Factor. So, <laughs> Shocker. let's just put that one away right now. Because <laughs> there's, there's no, no one surprised by this pick at all. <laughs> yeah, Factor was just... Yeah, yeah. Th I mean, this only 80% cost is really interesting. Actually, I thought it would have been like high 90s, but yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I guess he did. He did kind of like fall off in those last two rounds. That's probably where it, where it got ticked out a bit on the cost stat. I was he, he was still dying. Yeah. in those rounds. Mm -hmm. So it's like the survivability, you know, threw it down. Oh look, Valley's MVP pick is factor as well. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So there, there really wasn't much to take away from that game to be quite honest. Yeah, a bit of a frag fest at the end of the day between those two teams. Uh, we're a bit, like a really fun game to watch, don't get us wrong. Uh, but yeah, it was just a bit of a crazy one <laughs> between the two teams at the end of the day. The fragging power kind of speaks for itself here too. And you look at Factor and Doodle leading the charge against the highest frag total being some at seven for the Banana Boat crew. And despite starting off the map extremely hot, Nash was unable to keep that type of flame. And um, that was it. But everything seemed to fall down once they went down to church in Arsenal and Factor had his way in blue. Next thing you know, Banana Boat crew, they had their backs against the wall and they were unable to win. So GG's and hope to see these guys again next time. They're, they're actually good. Yeah, for sure. They're, they're, they're really good. I like them. And bringing, you know, like bringing good fragging power to the table. Yeah. Um, just like like strategy-wise, that game kind of got thrown out the window like four or five rounds into it, it seems. So, yeah. so it's like we ended up with some kind of like crazy stuff towards the end of it. Big yeah. time. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more game of the night. It's going to be Adventure Force facing off against Luminosity. Let's see which is going to be the better team in that matchup. And see you guys after this short break. <laughs> 